Great. We're going to Texas. We have Julie out there. Good evening, my friend. How are you tonight? I'm good. Good evening to you, Susie. <laughs> all right. What can I do for you? Well, I, I've been married for nine years, and all that time I've been dealing with a, a husband who's very irresponsible with money, um, constantly swiping his debit card um, uh, all over the place, and um, it causes us fees. So for the past four years, to get rid of the, all the bank accounts and issues that we had, all his direct deposits go into my bank account, so I handle all of the funds. Um, but a lot of people have been telling me that I'm babying him and not letting him have control over what's going on, but I don't want to pay fees anymore. He just opened up his new account to kind of reestablish and try to show that he can control it, but in one month we've had $150 in overdraft fees, and I don't know what to do. Julie, i, I got to rely on him. I have a really strange question I'm going to ask you, and I ask okay. you to be honest, not just with me, but with yourself. And I don't know the answer to this question, but this is where we have to start when we talk about money. Because again, money or financial problems is just a symptom of a bigger problem that's going on. Mm -hmm. And it's showing up in the money, but really it resides within one's own being. If you were able to turn back the hands of time nine years, would you marry him again? Yes. Yes, all right, now you said that right away. So. You don't ever think about divorcing him. Everything is great that way. It's just money, correct? Correct. All right. Now, why do you think he's so irresponsible with it? Um, I'm guessing since his parents always bought him everything that they necessarily what they wanted, but he never had to go without. And so when I question him about it, it becomes a disagreement about I should be able to get my money whenever I want it. If he gets breakfast, he'll tell me it was a dollar, and I look at the account, and it was five dollars. And I'm like, well, you know, there is a difference there. And um, I, I really would like to give him that liberty, but we don't even have savings. I mean, all these nine years, because I've been struggling with that, um, we haven't been able to save. A, a, a grocery shopping trip can turn into a bigger one because he finds something that he really likes, and he had to buy it. Right. So, so here's where I get confused. I asked you if you would marry him again. You said yes, right away. You didn't even hesitate. You love the guy. Uh -huh. Can you tell me what it is you love about him when he is not telling you the truth about what he spends? He is making it that you are getting older and older and you don't have any money. He is the one that is making it that is that makes you be afraid at night and stay up at night because you don't know what you're going to do for your future. Can you tell me what is it that you love about being in a relationship with somebody like this? Well, we do have two children, and, and as far as parenting goes, he does look after them very well. If, if I was to be sick one day, I know I can count on him to get up, get them dressed, take them to school, take them to the doctor, those types of things. So... Regardless of what your friends tell you that you're too controlling, given that you don't have savings, given that you uh, you know are getting older, given that you have two kids, I personally think you have three kids, one known as your husband. And so therefore, as long as you are going to stay with him and as long as he is not going to change, you need to treat him then like another kid since you've obviously tried. I think you should continue to have his paycheck put into your account. I think you should be very careful about it and not be afraid to get into a fight in public where you say, I am not buying this, we don't have the money. But I have to tell you, unless you correct this situation with him, after the kids get older and he no longer serves a function for you to take care of the children, you're heading for divorce, girlfriend, no matter what you say. You just might want to think about that.